This is Matt with Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Today we're going to be doing a video on an intro to Hyperterminal, what it is, what you can use it to do, and how you can get it on a Windows 7 machine. Hyperterminal is basically just used, the most basic use for it, in this case what we're going to be using it for, is to check to make sure your GPS is working, that it's physically connected to the machine and pinging back and forth. The basic, the easiest way to get it is to have an XP machine or, as I'm going to do here, have a virtual XP machine and copy the files directly from, X, from Windows XP. Windows 7 and Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows Vista, none of them have Hyperterminal. If you need to use Hyperterminal, you have to go to Windows XP or download it online. But if you have an XP machine available and a flash drive available, it's much easier just to go next to an XP machine and copy the files you need. To do so, you would just power on your XP machine, or in my case, just start up your virtual machine. And then I just have to make sure that my flash drive is showing up. Okay, so what you'll want to do is you'll just want to go to My Computer and click on the C drive. And just to make sure you're going to the right spot to get to the, the Hyperterm files, you can just do a quick search and click on all files and folders and just start typing in what the, the beginning of the file name which is just hyper term which you can see right here it's just spelled out H Y P E R T R M and if you search that it'll tell you the location of the four different files that you need to copy so the first thing you'll want to do, I always just leave this window up to make it easier on myself to be able to find the files. Open up a separate window in my computer, go to your C drive, and just go to the locations that it's showing here. So the first file you're going to need is the Hyperterm application file, which is an EXE file. It's located, according to this, under the C drive under Program Files, and under the folder Windows NT. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go to that location. And here's the file here. Now, as I said, we're going to copy it to a flash drive. I have mine already installed on this computer. I'm just going to go to the flash drive, and I already have a folder for it. And just paste it wherever you want to put it. And then that's just the first file you need. The other files you need are located in a different location. So just look here and just navigate to where the location is. The location for the next two files are, are is un located under the C drive, under the Windows folder, under the Help folder, and then just scroll down to uh, scroll down to to where the file is, or you can just start typing in the name, which is Hyperterm and it's these two files here. You can just highlight, the, you can just click the both of them and, and copy them at the same time and paste them into your folder that you're making for the hyperterminal. There's one file left that's in yet another location. It's located on the C drive under the System32 folder, under the Windows folder under the System32 folder. And then just the same thing, if you start typing in the file name, it'll take you right to it. Just copy it, paste it into the folder, and then you can go ahead and eject your, safely eject your flash drive and move it to the computer you need to use it on. Or in my case, I'm just going to shut my virtual machine down. There's my flash drive. 
go to your flash drive, and your files are right there. For this, for this example, I'm just going to copy the files directly onto the machine I'm going to use. You can run it off the flash drive if you want. Okay, so now you have the files you need for the hyper terminal to work. Then all you do is you run the application file, which is the exe file. You can see right here it says it's the application file, or if you have it in um, small icons, it's the one that has a symbol that looks like a phone almost. Just double click it. It'll ask you if you want to use this as your default program. Just go ahead and click yes. This is just primarily to test your GPS, so I'm just going to name it test. You can name it whatever you want to name it. This is just the connection. To test your GPS, the default COM port you want to use is COM port 3. And then you just click OK. In order for the GPS to ping properly to the hyper terminal, you have to change the bit per second rate from 2400 to 4800 as I as I just did here then you just click OK and if you see numbers numbers and letters come up like this streaming information to you you know that your GPS is working if your GPS was not working or was not connected correctly you would not be seeing this information nothing would come up on this screen it would just stay as a white screen if you have this information then you know that your your GPS is working properly and then you can configure whatever software you, you want to use for your GPS to connect to your GPS and then you can use your software. Whether it be for navigation or just for tracking your device or mapping or whatever you whatever you want to use it for as long as you just have to configure your software to connect to your GPS. So that's all for today. If you have any questions, you can just give us a call at 877-202-7788, or you can email me at tech underscore support at bobjohnson.com. Thank you. Have a good day.